Loud noises and jump scares, awesome. That's exactly what I want right now. Woohoo. Could you at least come up with an original menu? I... Alright. I'm not gonna be a dick about it. Let's just do it. Alright, I'll, I'll give this game a pass if it has a funny phone guy. No crappy headset mic phone guy. Okay, whatever. If you're gonna do a Five Nights type game and you're going to have a phone, you need to answer the phone. Hi, hello? Hi, hello? That's like, that's like number one. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah. Awesome. Day shift. Well, at least I don't have to be here at night. Your text is kind of off center, though. Can't. I want to. Can I? Whatever. I can't. It, it won't let me click on things. It keeps yanking over. What am I skipping? Alright. Hold on, I'll be right back. Okay. I'm back. So, W, S, X is to move. E is for light. Okay. What happened to my day shift? Oh, what, what, where did my day shift go? I had day shift. I imagine these places are actually kind of fun during the day. I have a, I have a fear meter. Uh. Oh, hi, feller. I've always hated the way the uh, these styles of games um uh Iron Giant I am not a gun. <laughs> well, I'm leaving that. Oh, there was a generator. Why would Vin Diesel do that to me? I thought there was a generator. I was supposed to be able to get my power back. I don't know what's happening. As I was saying, I, I, I hate how these games, um, yeah, you know, skip it. I said, no, I, I, uh, -uh. no, Harvey. I said skip. Um, the, the way they do, like, where you move your mouse to a part of the screen and then it turns you. Because the dead zones for that, especially in this one, are really bad. <laughs> like, it makes it so it's almost impossible to, like, click on. Which I don't know if you would need to click on anything like that. But, like, that's, you know, another problem with these kind of games is that, that there seems to be something about Five Nights games. Um, and it's, it's seeped out into all the fan games, too. That I've never understood, and that's making the most basic gameplay concepts more obscure to understand than they need to be. And you know, there's no, there's usually not much of a tutorial in these games other than just the controls. Um, and you're supposed to just kind of figure out what you're supposed to do to get by. And I guess for some people, that's fun. Like, you know, in the Five Nights games, okay, this enemy got me. Now i got to figure out what is it that triggers that enemy. That's just not fun for me. I'm just boring. 
But whatever. Let's try this again. Don't want to get killed by the iron giant again. I mean, very slow on that, you know. These screens do not need to stay up as long as they do. He said there's... Hi. I... I don't know. I don't know what's happening. It said there's a fucking generator on the third floor. I get my power back. That's what it said. That's what it fucking said. I'll go make an omelet while this fucking screen's waiting. All right. Bing boar. Bing boar. Hi, fella. See, it says up there, energy. Does keeping it on charge it when you're here? No. <laughs> Doesn't seem to be anything you can do at that point. Alright, I can't figure out how to charge my shit. <laughs> I'm gonna end this here. <laughs> I think I'll, I'll maybe smash this in together with that other Five Nights type game I played. Just, just put the videos together. <laughs> I'll do that. <laughs> I'll do it. <laughs> I don't know. I don't want to say that this concept is outstate its welcome, because I don't think really any concept can outstay its welcome. I think that any type of gameplay concept if you do it right if you put the effort in it doesn't you know just get rid of that hipster way of thinking of thinking that if something's too popular it shouldn't be done anymore to hell with that um let's click on the star of david over here see what he okay so uh <laughs> that'll do it um it, it was all right i mean like with like, th this is, like, kind of the opposite of what the issue of the last game was. This has some good atmosphere. It has, you know, some creep factor to it. But, like I said, it does the typical Five Nights thing of just kind of making things a little obtuse to figure out. And that's probably the appeal, the appeal of them. That's like me. You know, I don't like sports games. Um... And that's like me, uh, you know, buying the latest Madden and saying, you know... Why aren't there dragons? You know, if, if the, the, this is if this is the appeal, and if you're a fan of the Five Nights series and you know the fan games, go ahead and tell me. Tell me, you know, if I'm wrong. Tell me if if that is the appeal. If you know, figuring out what the fuck you're supposed to do is the appeal of the series, then that's fine. That's it's not for me, but you know, that's that's fine. I'm not. I I don't think that anyone should be allowed to criticize something based on their personal preference. I think. You know, I'm not going to get into a discussion of certain types of people that do that. <laughs> Feminists! Um, but, you know, you shouldn't criticize something based on your personal preference of what you would like to see. Um, you have to put yourself in the shoes of someone who wants to see what you're looking at. Whatever type of game you play, if for some ungodly reason I did, for some ungodly reason, the reason is ungodly. Uh... If for some ungodly reason I did ever play a sports game, like some Madden type thing, like I said, I wouldn't bitch that it doesn't have dragons. I would, you know, I would think, you know, I'd probably still criticize it because from what I've heard, those games 
are very, very bad for not innovating any. Um, the only reason they sell is that they uh, have, like, that exclusive license. And if you want to play as, you know, those people, as those real people, and play as those real teams, you have to get this specific game. Which I, I, th I honestly think that should be illegal. I really think that should be illegal, but uh, whatever. Um... But, like, if I did play one, I would, my criticisms, I would, you know, focus on what the game is. Like, I would think, okay, how good is the roster? How good it, does it have the, um, coach mode? I think, I think some of those games have, like, a coach mode where you don't, uh, I think that it has a different name, but it's, like, where you don't play as, you don't actually play the game. You don't play, like, you don't actually control the characters running around, you know, passing the, piggy skin um you're more like you're the coach and you like you manage maybe it's called manager mode i don't know um you know i would think okay does it have good that does the is the hit detection good i think um just like with a first person shooter i think and with a fighting game i think uh sports games especially football ones i believe hit detection is kind of a big thing um you want it to be realistic where if like someone's arm you know, hit someone and doesn't clip through them and not count or something, something like that. So when it comes to something like this, it's hard for me to give my opinion because it is my personal preference that I don't enjoy these kind of games. Um, I've, and I just unplugged my headphones. I've played all the Five Nights games because, um, for me, the quality of those games, like the actual atmosphere quality and stuff that they put into it, makes it enjoyable. And he always puts a very small price tag on them, which I think, I think the small price tag really helped those games sell. It would have been very easy for him to knock those fuckers up to like $20 once they became popular because it was so popular that people still would have bought it. But I, I, th I actually respect Scott a lot for not upping the price that way when he, he probably knew he could have. Um, but at the end of the day, I don't really enjoy, that's what, actually, actually why I kind of enjoyed the lat, the most recent, the sister location. I actually enjoyed that one a lot because it was a more linear experience. It was more focused on, you know, it still had the whole like figuring out what the hell you're supposed to do, but in a lot of places, um, you'd be told what you needed to do and it was a lot more easy to figure out and you could focus on enjoying the atmosphere. That one had a lot of atmosphere. Um, but yeah, so I've rambled too long. If you've, if you like these kind of games, give me a comment and let me know. Say, hey, actually, we do enjoy dying repeatedly while trying to figure out what we have to do. And if that's the case, more power to you. Like I said, you can't criticize a game based on what you would personally prefer it to be like. You can't do that. Um, people still do, but... You know, I'm not going to criticize the game based on something that might just be my personal preference. Uh, so that'll do it. Thank you all for watching.